Hi, Margo from Aspen Commons Family Resource Network in the Southwest again. Thanks for coming back. Today we're outside. I'm going to focus a little bit on the sense that's called vestibular, which is a really big word. Just a sense of balance, which is really important and you'll see lots of little kids trying to figure it out all the time um, because it doesn't come right away. You have to learn it like everything else. So today I thought we'd just try and see what we could do with household items, make a little obstacle course, practice balance, get some exercise, fresh air, and you can do it all in your yard um, while we're still physical distancing. Um, the materials that you'll need are basically anything. The things that I've used today, I've got a broomstick, a uh, laundry basket, stuffies, um, sort of beanbag-like things, um, pop bottles, and... Um, little piece of cardboard you can use sort of whatever whatever makes sense for you keeping safety in mind um, yeah so we're gonna try to work on some balance activities some words you can learn while you're um, trying the balance activities the word balance they can learn um, fast slow bend hop um, and then you can even learn the words that of the things that you're using so we have a yardstick um, that I don't think I said. They can learn the word yardstick. Maybe meter stick is more appropriate now. Um, yeah, so lots of different words they can start learning while they have fun doing balance. I've set this up really for um, little guys, but if you've got different ages, you can modify um, the activities um, so that it's more fun for everybody. Yeah, so let's give it a try. I've enlisted a big helper because there's no small children in my household right now we're sticking to our households um, so I've got a big helper going to show you how to do these activities so let's get it set up um, your children might really like to help do this or it might be fun to set it up in the morning as a surprise um, we filled water into the water bottles so that they'll stay upright the challenge will be to go around them without knocking them over so we want to give a head start to that um, just going to use the broom to make a little obstacle to jump over. Um, you could raise this up if you have kids that are four, five, six, seven. Um, platform to stand on for balancing and bending while we do the toss activity. Um, and I've got three things here. You could do three, you could do one, do ten if your kids like it. Here we go. Here's a quick overview of what we got set up just to give you a look. So here we go. We're getting ready. We're going to go one foot in front of the other on the yardstick. Go, Sean. There we go, balancing. Look at him go. Oh, it's tricky. Tricky, one foot in front of the other. Yay. Okay, next we're going to get see if Sean can go around the bottles without knocking them over side to side. Older children might want to try backwards. There we go. And he rounds the last curve. Yay. Okay, next up, we're going to practice a big jump. Maybe one foot if you're a bit older. Sean's going to try two. Getting set up, ready, over. Yay. Instant replay. And now we're going to stand on the platform. Can do one foot or two, depending on the age. Sean's getting set up. Oh, feels weird to stand on the cardboard. There we go. I'm going to try a bend to pick up. Lots of balance here. Oh, he gets it. Score. So there you go. Our quick little try at showing you how to do a quick little balance obstacle course in your backyard. These are just examples. You can use whatever your kids like and whatever you've got around your house. Um, you can even just set up one activity and they might have lots of fun with that. Important thing is using that sense of balance and learning some new words, getting outside, having some fun. Um, I hope that you can use this in the next couple weeks and enjoy spending time with your kids. Thanks for watching.